So in this video is all about working towards plotting IV characteristics of components. So the first thing I'm going to look at is actually how to take measurements in a circuit. So we're going to look to build this circuit here. So we've got the right starting point. So we've got our battery pack, we've got our resistor, and we've got the switch shown in the diagram. And we're going to need to show you how to use the multimeters to take measurements. So this one we're going to use as a voltmeter. Now, first things first, to connect it as a voltmeter, you can see here, you need it connected in the bottom two slots. So there are three slots, and it should be in the bottom two. And you should put the setting on 20 volts. So that essentially means it can go up to 20 volts, but we won't need more than that. Then we need to connect it into our component. So. To get something in parallel, you can simply click it in like this, right on top there. And it's reading the potential difference between that point and that point. So if we activate our switch, you can see we are measuring a potential difference of 5.44 across the resistor. So now let's look at adding in an ammeter to our circuit. Again, we can use one of these multimeters. So if the reading you're going to take is above 0.1 amps, you connect it in the top and the bottom one, as shown like this, and then you flip round to the 10 amp setting here. Now to actually connect this into our circuit, we want it in series. So let's just use that word. So your ammeter clicks in there, and the other one connects right in here. So then we let's just move that wire out of the way. When we do this, we can see we've got a current of 0.27 amps going through there. Now, what if we had a much bigger resistor? So here we go, a much bigger resistor. So let's put it into our circuit. This one is currently on a 100 ohm setting. You can see here it's down at 100 ohm setting. Let's move that out of the way. Now, if we click this again, we can see we're getting very small readings here. So what we need to do is change our ammeter into the milliamp setting. So what you do, first thing first, is you need to connect it to this one here. So it's now in the bottom two, just like with a voltmeter. And then, we click it round one, it's just one, we're now on the milliamp setting. So you can see it's reading 58.0 milliamps. You see these little letters on the side, it says 200M. That means it can take up to 200 milliamps before it will blow a fuse. So if you go over 200 milliamps, you will blow a fuse in this, so 55 is absolutely fine. This next one up gives you up to 20 milliamps, and this one here gives up to 2,000 microamps. Now you might be wondering, well, why wouldn't you just always use the 200? Well, the advantage of using this 20 is it gives you more precise measurement. It gives you an extra decimal place. So if you can be more precise, it's always better to be. But in circuits in general, especially in unit one, you're going to be either using this 10 amp setting or the 200 milliamp setting. So just to quickly recap the key points from that. So using your multimeter, multimeter even as a voltmeter, you can see we've got it connected on the bottom two connections over here, and you've got it on the 20 volt setting up on the top left. And we can see here on the screen it's got 5.72, which means you've got a potential difference of 5.72 between each of those two leads. Remember that we want to connect it in parallel so you connect one of the leads in the top of one side of the component and one the other one on top of the other side and it will measure the potential difference between those two points which is the potential difference across this resistor. We want to use it as an ammeter so first of all not a milliamp just an ammeter we have it in the top and the bottom connections here and we put it on this red 10 amp setting and you can see here on the screen you've got 0.27, which is a reading of 0.27 amps. Using it as a milliameter, we're in the bottom two connections here, 
and we've got it on the 200M setting here. So if you're reading 57.7, that means it's 57.7 milliamps, which is the same as that, by the way, 1,000, so 0 0.0577 amps. And then remembering, so a couple of key things, you've got your voltmeter here connected in parallel with your component, which you can see here, it's connected in parallel, and your ammeter should be in series with your component, which you can see here if you trace it round.